Hi there, Cancer. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa, from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages. It's a general reading, so the rules might get reversed, or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me. Okay? So in this reading, um, Cancer, it's going to be a you versus them reading. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, future. We're going to clarify them. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card by the end of the session, okay? What you don't see coming here, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel that there's things here that is happening behind the scene that is going to be helping you, actually, helping your situations to a point where even when you least expect it, when you're just chilling there, because I do see here with the Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, I do feel that in the future, you guys are going to be focusing a lot more on your work. You guys are also going to be focusing a lot more on your wish fulfillment. And when you guys are focused on that, I do feel that there's something here, Some somebody who had resisted you, somebody who had made you feel a bit depleted i do feel that this person is going to be stepping up their game and seeking accountabilities but we're going to see what this is okay but anyway in the now cancer their current energy they have the third, six of pentacles the two of pentacles in reverse and they also have the death card in upright position i do feel that there is a transformation or so there is something here that is going on that kind of like shook them to the core to a point where they no longer have to juggle okay i do feel that you were dealing with somebody here who was Either one, who is a juggler, a literal juggler, somebody who's juggling multiple options at the same time, or somebody who didn't really prioritize as you because they have other things going on, okay, in their life. Maybe they have work that they have to focus on or they have to prioritize, but they weren't really prioritizing this relationship or even prioritizing you in the few, in the past. I do feel that in the now, something here happened with the tower that might kind of like force them to take a good look at this connections and take a good look at you so that you are not being taken for granted anymore now cancer your challenge is here you have the full card and you also have the four of wands in reverse your challenges here has a lot to do with you really really be sitting with you know on your own and ask yourself do you really want to take a giant leap of faith over a situation that does not really make you feel happy because this is how the card was positioned the full card and also the four of wands in reverse this is talking about somebody that you've had a history with it's not about a new person okay maybe there's a new person in the future we're gonna see but right now it's more about like you asking yourself like do you really want to go into a connections or be focusing on someone or restarting or renewing something with someone who made you feel like not good i wanted to curse but i, I you know i, I stopped myself <laughs> but anyway yeah is about asking yourself that questions okay so in the past this person was the moon card and also the knight of wands in reverse from your side you have the ace of cups in reverse and you also have the page of wands your intuition was really strong in the past here cancer and i relate to it because cancers are naturally very intuitive right i'm a cancer rising and i'm a cancer moon myself we're very intuitive especially if there's something fishy going on behind our back, okay? And and because of that, you're trying to question yourself, is this my fear talking or is this my intuition? Do I have a justifiable reason for me to be questioning this person or not? So I think you were kind of like quite hung up on that. Um, Ace of Cups in reverse, you were not feeling very, very happy in the past. And again, with the Page of Wands, it's like something that you hear, you keep on like repeating in your, inside of your head and you're, does that make sense? Does things make sense? There's something here that is kind of like inkling. There's this inkling intuitive thing that you're feeling. Okay. And that's for a good reason because in the past, this person was the moon card and also the knight of wands in reverse. So I do feel that you're dealing, you were dealing with somebody here in the past who was not really being very, very responsible, who didn't really take accountability for their action. But for some reason, you guys love communicating with this person though. Maybe it's because this person knows the right words to say to you. Or you just like their energy. You kind of like likes to be in their presence for some reason.
for some of you too, like no matter what, this is for some of you, just like the 5% or 10% of you, but no matter what type of interaction there is between you and them, you kind of like enjoy it. So it's either this person is, um, you know, like screaming at you or like um, being angry at you and stuff like that, you enjoy it. Or th when this person is being nice to you, you kind of like enjoy it. Whatever it is that this person is throwing at you, you kind of like enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> the moon card is right here. This person is also questioning why you feel sad. Funny, huh? There are people who are like that, you know? There are people who are like that. There are people who are just roaming around, doing stuff on their own, thinking that they're not hurting anybody in the process. And they're like, huh, oh, you're hurt. Why are you hurt? So I do feel that in the past, this person is kind of like quite questioning, why are you hurt? Why are you like that? So in the present moment, they have the strength card and also the tower. From your side, you have the six of swords and also the king of wands. You're being split here. Your energy is splitting because I do feel that there is a part of you who really wants to move to this connections or really wants to move slowly towards this person and there's a part of you who also just wants to be strong hold your ground and be like no i'm the boss in here you know i'm the shit now i'm remembering who i was before i meet you i remember that i'm capable of doing amazing stuff in my life i'm remember that i have like a huge wide array of support system around me i'm loved so there is that side of you there's that splitting energy that i'm sensing from you if you guys are single and ready to mingle. I do also see this week you might have potentially be meeting somebody that is just like out of nowhere, there's that instant chemistry or there's that instant connection. Whatsoever, okay. And this person with the strength card here, I do feel that this person right now is being a bit patient because this person is kind of like waiting on you to do something towards them. Now in the future, wait, they do waiting waiting patiently waiting patiently waiting until they realize that wow cancer is not doing anything now cancer is holding their ground here cancer isn't doing anything to me so i do feel that once you guys focusing a lot more on your emotional fulfillment and also on your financial freedom and your financial stability i do feel that this person in the future is going to be taking a drastic actions towards you and we're going to clarify them okay so now i'm not going to be clarifying the past because the past is in the past i'm going to be clarifying the present moment and also the future all right Yeah, there is that going. I mean, I understand how it feels. Okay. I understand where you're at right now because moving on from somebody isn't easy. Forgetting somebody, especially since we've had some shared memories with that person, is not easy. It's easy to just remember the sweet memories and become fond of that person again. Okay. So, in the present moment, Seven of Wands, the Death Card, and also the Six of Wands. A part of you really hate this person's gut because you feel that this person is walking free unscathed. A lot of you are questioning, like, how can you be like this? How can you just be okay? And a part of you is also frustrated with yourself because you know... Uh, some of you might think that this person is selfish and you're like, why am I still crazy or obsessing or being fun of this selfish person? Especially if that person really puts like a lot of attention towards what the public perception of them is. You, you, you're frustrated because you're, you have labeled them, but yet you're still fond of them. Okay. So it's more about you seven and ones putting a resistance towards your emotions because you're trying to discipline yourself to move slowly to calmer water. King of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, and also the King of Swords. Well, some of you is like, wow, that's a shame. You know, like we created some really good shared memories together, but 
right now I need to hold my ground. You know, I need to be smart about this. I need to make a really, really smart decision in regards to my life. I need to get my life back together. Now let's clarify from their side, strength card. Let's see the tower. Now I understand. Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, and also the Ten of Cups. Now, to some of you, Cancer, I do feel that this person, when things were bad between the both of you, maybe you had a breakup or maybe you had a separation, whatever that may be, this person ran towards something else, okay? It could be someone else as well. Now, whatever it is that they run, ran away towards was not able to make them as happy as you did make them. It made them feel depleted because I do feel that there were a point in time where it's like, you know what, like I could actually replace Cancer's energy. I'm sorry, but it's, that's what I'm reading, okay? I can actually replace Cancer's energy or I could get better or whatever, right? But they were very disappointed when they know that whatever it is that they ran away towards wasn't bringing them any type of emotional fulfillment. To some of them, they might get scammed as well with the Five of Pentacles or it just kind of like made them feel a bit depleted. So now they're looking back at you again okay and i think this is one of the reason why for some of you you're thinking like how can you just do that right because as a cancer you know i'm not a cancer sun i'm a sagittarius but i have cancer rising and cancer moon it's like we don't do that right like when we are focused on someone we're focused on someone we can't just unfocus we can't just unlove people we can just we can't do that we, we just can't right and the way that you're looking at this person is like how can you do that how does one person have the capacity to do that so with the tower card here is about them having a really really huge awakening and a huge realizations that oh wow i should have stayed with cancer because I do feel that Cancer is the only person here who would want to or who has the capability to build on this beautiful collective happiness, this beautiful relationship for the both of us. Cancer was not selfish. When I was dealing with Cancer, Cancer was able to compromise. Now, Cancer, this is going to be making you a bit confused with their energy because I do feel that if they, if they don't make the move now, they might do it in the future because I think for some of you, they already do it now. But in the way that if, if they've already do it now or they're going to be doing it soon, it's more about like them testing the water for a little bit and they're going to be noticing that you guys aren't as warm as you guys were before. So now they want you. Okay, interesting. Now let's clarify from your side in the future with the Nine of Cups here. Judgment, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's see the Nine of Pentacles from your side. Four of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel that in the future, you guys are gonna be keeping them at arm's length, okay? Because I do feel that you want nothing more than just this. Ace of Pentacles. Give me something stable. Give me consistent. Give me things that make sense. You can be saying all of the sweet things. You could be saying all the right things. But if it's not backed by actions, I want nothing to do with that. Okay? This is what you're demanding. You're demanding this. And I do feel that you guys are going to be communicating it with this person. That this is what I want. If you don't want that, then it's either you're going to be cutting this person's off or you're going to be literally emotionally walking away or emotionally detaching yourself from the situations and just treating this person as casual as you could. Because for you, your mental health and your emotional health is much more important in the future. 
So nine of pentacles clarified by the four of cups, the king of cups, and also the page of pentacles. I do feel that in the future, you guys are going to be focusing a lot more on your finances. I do feel that in the future, there's going to be like a new opportunities or a new ideas that you would encounter that will make you be like, oh, wow, that's a very interesting ventures or there is a very interesting, you know, stuff that I really, really want to be focused on because I want something stable for my life. And I feel that you're going to actually be put in. So all of the feelings and emotions that you once give them, obsessively gave them, I feel that you're going to be taking those things and you're going to be focusing it on your work instead. To some of you, Cancer, again, if you are single and ready to mingle, I do feel that you might be interested or you might be vetting someone new in the future as well. Okay, so let's see the hangman from their side in the future. The Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, and also the Ace of Cups. See, this sudden realization that they cannot mess around with you anymore. They try to deny their feelings, though, towards you. They kind of, like, undermined you in the past and also, yeah, in the past, where they're like, feelings is easy. I could just be with someone else or I could just be with something and then I would have feelings towards it right they kind of like undermine you a little bit i'm sorry for saying this but <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna come to them as a shock when they know that that door is no longer open when you mean business when you start respecting yourself here cancer But for some reason, Cancer, now I gotta have to be honest with you, with you being very stern with what you want, with you being very like, kind of like cold and detached, it kind of like give them this feeling of like, wow, like that's actually the type of person that I would want. That's the type of men or woman that I would want. I want to have a woman or men with values. I want to have a man or a woman who is not easy. I want to have a man or a woman who is like that. So by you actually doing this, it kind of turns them on because nah, turns them on is, is wrong to say it because it's not sexual here. It's more about like, wow, like I want that type of person who has values, who knows what they want. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Wands in upright position here. Justice. The Five of Wands. And also the Three of Cups. Now, here's the part, okay? I have two scenarios for this, okay? And the first scenario is going to be, may resonate only with 5%, but I'm still going to say it, okay? So the first scenarios, which I think is just only going to be applying to 5% of you, is if you've cheated on them, or if there was a third-party situation from your side cancer, I do feel that in the future, this person is going to be very, very keen on I got games too. So it's more about like that act of triangulation thing of, yeah, of triangulations. But I do feel that in the future, you guys are not going to be interested with that type of stuff. Okay. It's, it's just not pretty. I don't, there are people at, or you could actually be literally be dealing with someone who does like to triangulate people because it's going to be um, increasing their market share not market value i mean there's actually people out there too you know who try to entice or who's trying to um yeah entice some sort of like a jealousy towards their partner so that it makes them feel good about themselves so that that person is afraid of losing them little do they know that it's actually causing the backward effects or the completely different effects but yeah, so that's my first interpretation. The second interpretation is going to be if there is no third party situations from your side or if you're not dealing with someone who does like to triangulate people and try to cause some sort of like a jealousy thing. I do feel that in the future, this person would want to clear things up with you, trying to be as fair as they could because they would want to go. Um, they would want to. They would want to get out of a period of a conflict with you. Now, here's a tricky part. If that part is the one that resonates with you there might be a little bit of a fight 
or there might be like a little bit of a heated argument or like a very intense conversation going on between the both of you in the future. Okay. And I think you guys are ready for it. It's something that you actually really, really want. That type of argument to get to the bottom of the truth, to get clarity out of it. Because in the beginning, this person is like, no, like, I'm going to be doing this and cancer would need to meet me halfway. But you're done with meeting people halfway because in the past, you guys were 60 or 70 percent, not just 50. Right. But in the future, you're like, no, this person needs to be doing something more. And this person is going to be doing something more and they're going to be sharing you their frustrations. But you're ready with the answer here with the king of cups. Okay, so now let's pull some future uh, advice card for you guys, all right? So you have the seven of, uh, sorry, you have the queen of pentacles, you have the seven of wands, and you also have the knight of cups in upright position, okay? I think most of you are going to be resonating with the fact that this person is going to come and you're going to have like a very intense conversation with this person okay now when that happens cancer what you need to realize is that you should not be allowing yourself to get either invalidated or gaslighted what you need to do this is the after tarot deck so it's going to be very different than the traditional right away tarot what you need to do here cancer is that you need to see look at yourself in the mirror and says i'm good enough i'm fine I have reasons for me to feel a certain type of way. If I feel anxious about this relationship, I have a reason. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay? Fight back a little. Seven and ones. Especially if you're dealing with someone who's trying to gaslight you or trying to invalidate your feelings as if it doesn't matter. Put up a little bit of a fight. Because a part of you might be like, oh, no, I just want to be on good terms with them again, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then ask yourself if you've done this before, right? You've done this. You've enabled it. There was a point in time where you guys enabled something. And where did it take you? What did it leave you with? How did it go for you? Okay? So please be aware when that intense conversation happens i want you to get ready and i want you to not allow this person to gaslight or invalidate your emotions okay <sighs> so i think that is it for my reading for you here cancer i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for and i hope to see you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you